Greetings and welcome, friends. Mr. Wadi here and my algebra buddies. We were talking about slope yesterday. S O S L O P E. I can spell. Sl Salp. Slopey. Sloppy slope. Sloppy slop. Slope. Uh, so, anyways, uh, Trinley, we were talking about slope. Uh, it's rise over run. It's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 when you're finding the slope between two points. We talked about horizontal, vertical, steepness, right? Uh, positive slope, negative slope, all of these great things. Uh, here it says the blank of a non-vertical line passing through two points is the ratio of the rise to run. That sounds like slope to me. S slap, sloppy slope. And then it asks this question, what is a constant function and what is the slope of a constant function? So a constant function is a, an equation y equals some number, all right? Uh, and the slope of a constant function is zero, all right? Uh, so that would look like a horizontal line, horizontal. There we go. Uh, here's questions five and eight. If you want to see some of the other problems from this batch, I've already got a video for you. Uh, describe the slope of the line and then find the slope. So looking at this line, uh, as Mario runs to the right, Mario is going downhill. So I would say the slope is negative and actually same thing over here. Uh, the two examples that I'm doing today are both negative. If it was going up, then the slope would be positive, and if it was horizontal. Some of you were calling like those straight lines, but they're all straight. Uh, horizontal lines uh, would have zero slope. A vertical line is no slope or undefined slope. And then they asked us to find the slope. And uh, so we'll do this a couple ways. Notice uh, when I find the slope, I'm going to choose to work with what are called lattice points. Uh, they land directly on the crosshairs of the grid. And to go from this lattice point to that one, uh, the rise, it be fallen, uh, it's going down three and over five. So my slope, according to rise and run, is negative three fifths. Uh, so you could, by the way, uh, just a minute, internet friends, I've got a phone call. <laughs> Mr. Waddy's back. Uh, so negative three-fifths, I also could write as the opposite of the entire fraction three-fifths, Jacob. Uh, I also could write that as three over negative five. Uh, all of those are equivalent ways of writing that. I usually kind of write it where the opposite... Shh, guys, guys, with me, please. Uh, where the minus sign is applied to the numerator, but you could also think about it in the front. Notice also the minus sign is being applied to the rise, and that's why I kind of think about it in terms of the numerator. Uh, we also could find slope using the slope formula, uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Memorize that one for yourself. Uh, and I can label these points one or two, don't matter none. Uh, so let's label them. Uh, so this one I'll call x1, y1, and this one I'll call x2, y2. Once I call this point two, I got to commit. Both of those are twos, x2, y2. And actually, that's funny. Both of those are also kind of two. Uh, so let's find the slope using the formula. So m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Careful of this double negative here. Uh, so negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3, became more negative. Negative 2 minus a negative 3 is plus 3, which is 5. And notice I would, in fact, get the same slope. <coughs> All right, for this next one, uh, let's see. I've got a lattice point here. I don't like any, none of these other points on the line are hitting the grid all the way until here by the looks of it. Uh, so to go from here to here, I'm going down four and over five. So my slope is negative four fifths. All right, not bad. Uh, and then you can use the formula, but for sake of time, I'm cruising. All right, so if I want to find the slope of a line given uh, points in a table, uh, I'm once again comparing the change in y 
over the change in x on the same interval there. So this looks like it went up four, or sorry, up two and over four. So up two and over four. What's another way I could write that fraction? Yeah, both of those are divisible by two. That's the same as one half. Uh, and it actually doesn't matter which two points that I pick. Uh, I could have also picked like this one to this one, and this was plus four, and this one to this one, this one was uh, plus eight, and notice that four eighths also reduces to one half. Uh, so it doesn't matter any two points you pick on a line, it's the same slope every time. Todo de los tiempos. All right, so that's the way that that works. Uh, now I'm looking at this one. This one's a little bit weird. That change in X is definitely going to confuse us a little bit. Uh, but let's look at the change in Y here. I've got a plus four. And this is uh, not a change, plus zero. Oh, I was hoping these day. But yeah, you can check in here, write a pass, I'll sign. All right. Uh, so my slope, it's like I'm going up four and over zero. But the problem is I can't divide by zero. What? So it's, it's undefined or no slope. Uh, what type of line looks like that, friends? That is the worst description of a slope. No, a straight line. All the lines are straight. It's an undefined uh, slope. It's, it's going to be a vertical line, and it would be of the form uh, x equals 0. Sorry. <coughs> so, so there we go. There we go. Uh, analyzing a table. Uh, the table shows the amount of uh, in time, the amount of... Okay, X in hours of time. That was weird the way it was worded. Uh, so the amount of time in uh, X in hours, all right, that you spend at a theme park and the admission fee Y in dollars to the park, all right? The points represented by the table lie on a line, so it tells me that it's linear. Find and interpret the slope of the line. Now, is it, how much money does it cost per hour, though? It's the same thing the whole day. Notice that these Y values are not changing at all. Uh, whereas the X value, if I spend six hours or seven hours, uh, I'm getting a slope of zero over one or a slope of zero. So that means that is a horizontal line. Okay, horizontal line. And that would be of the form, uh, guys, I done messed up over here, didn't I? Wait a minute. X equals zero. No, no, no. That's right. That's right. All right. Phew, phew. I was worried, friends. Uh, this one, no matter what, the line, the equation is just going to give me 54.99 unless I'm spending zero hours at the theme park. Then they don't charge me. Uh, I don't know. Depends. Well, anyways, thank you for watching, internet friends. Have a great day.